Igniting progress is about walking the talk. You have to walk your talk. Today I talked about having a good sense of humor. I talked about sharing that greatness within you, your popcorn. But now you gotta walk your talk. You gotta live your message. What do people know about you? What will they remember about you? Here's what happened to me many years ago. I never set off to be a motivational speaker. I didn't. In fact, I took F's and zeros in college whenever a presentation was due because I was so scared. And life, the magic never happens in the comfort zone. It happens when we step out. And I was so scared. I actually saw somebody faint during a speech. They hit their head on a desk and passed out. It was one of my friends. I thought it was part of the presentation, so I clapped. <laughs> they had to call an ambulance to come get him. I poured water on his pants and said, you peed your pants when you passed out. <laughs> Young men. <laughs> the teacher just looked at me like, what are you doing? Don't worry, it'll be funny when he wakes up. <laughs> For most of us. <laughs> but I started by teaching Sunday school, and I fell in love with encouraging people and reaching out to people in my community and sharing a great message. And I believe all of us can do that together. And, uh, but you know, it's one thing to talk the talk, it's another thing to live it. And I think life gives us plenty of opportunities to live our message every day. I mean, things happen that test our attitude every day. In fact, I, I painted up 20 eagles for a client who wanted to give them away as gifts. And I spent, I don't know, like two weeks working on them and I had them out in the garage. And I had them all laid out, I was taking pictures and then, my two-year-old came out, and, and with a two-year-old, if you turn for a second, the world changes. And I was doing something, and it was just for a second, and, I, and in that one second, I heard a two-year-old say, ta-da! <laughs> Life gives us plenty of opportunities to test our attitude. She took a can of paint and went like this, splattered it all over them all. Because that's what I do sometimes. I'll splatter paint on, on some of my pictures. And she looks at me with those big blue eyes and she goes, so, what do you think? I was like, I think daddy's gonna teach you some new words. Life will give us many of those opportunities to reveal what our attitude's about. I didn't flip out, I didn't lose it, I praised her, and I said, now go spend the day with your mom. 